Well, I'm sorry. I could not figure out how to get this book to look any better than this. Somewhere I have a PowerPoint of it, but um, I want to get this done. So we're going to do it this way. Today we're reading The Chimpanzees I Love, Saving Their World and Ours. This is written by Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall spent a lot of time with chimpanzees and did a lot of studies with chimpanzees. This is expository nonfiction, so um, even though it is mostly nonfiction. You're going to see some of her opinions in here. And of course, her opinions are um, very pro chimpanzee, which there's nothing wrong with that. But um, she's going to um, talk about all the things that chimpanzees can do. If you look at the beginning, she talks about the mind of the chimp, how they're smarter than scientists once thought they were. She talks here about different things that chimps can do as you read that um, first that paragraph the more we have learned about chimpanzees tells different things that the chimps can do um, it also tells you um, other things that they are able to do like uh, multi-task tools um, the next chapter or I'm sorry the next pages talk about other things they can do like recreational things uh, bicycling sewing drawing, painting, and then there's a paragraph about how the gardeners have tried to teach um, the uh, chimpanzees how to read, but of course, or, I'm sorry, how to talk, but they don't have the vocal cords, so they really can't make the sounds, but they can communicate with humans in other ways. She then goes into how the chimpanzees in uh, captivity are mistreated, um, she has some opinions here, but um, also makes some valid points. So you can read through that. And then the next chapter, she is uh, kind of sad. She talks about um, more about um, how um, chimpanzees do not make good pets and um, how they're used in research and how she went to visit Jojo who was in a cage. So um, that's what those pages are about. Then as you go to um, the next page, she talks about um, zoos, zoos getting better, and how um, the zoos could um, maybe make it better for the chimpanzees. I think, um, actually the Columbus Zoo doesn't have any chimpanzees. They have bonobos, which is a different breed. And um, I'm wondering if maybe you know they have such a big gorilla display that they really don't have room to make chimpanzees as um, comfortable and um, as stimulated as they should be. I've never asked but I always thought maybe that was it. So uh, protecting the chimpanzees in their native Africa and it shows here um, um, different reasons why they're disappearing. Uh, their forest homes are maybe being um, used for wood. Um, they're caught in snares. The local people actually like um, the chimpanzee meat. Tastes like chicken? I don't think so. But anyhow, so um, that are those are some of the reasons. There are four reasons there that you can read through. And then finally, um, these are some more chimpanzees facts, just straight facts about chimpanzees. You can read through, you can see those are bulleted. And uh, the habitats, it shows where they are mostly in um, Central, South Central Africa and along the Ivory Coast. Um, so look at that graph to see. And uh, I think I'm in the way here. I think that is the end. If I try to move me I will lose it. So anyhow, that's just kind of a review of the story. You need to read it more carefully so that you will be ready to take a test over it. Um, so that is chimpanzees.